The path to mastery leads through the heart of adversity. Challenge is the raw material from which courage and strength are forged. Warriors are not defined by events. Warriors define them. Warriors conquer themselves before all else. Warriors are relentless in their service to others. Join us as we open our hearts and hone our minds to a razor's edge. It doesn't matter how slow you go, only that you do not stop. Your time is now. And now your host, Jason McKenzie. Hey everybody, I'm downstairs in my basement with a glass of homemade kombucha at 6 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, <clears throat> and I wanted to record this episode because I wanted to talk to you about some of the things that have kind of gone on behind the scenes here at the Mental Health Warriors podcast over the last week or so. <clears throat> so a few weeks ago, I interviewed Josh Shea, who was a former city councillor and magazine owner from Maine, who had gotten himself into, he had like mental health issues and a major addiction issues. And some of those addiction issues were related to porn. <clears throat> so he came on the show to talk about porn addiction. And he also talked about how he ended up going to jail. And he went to jail because he got involved with underage pornography. So which is appalling, obviously, <clears throat> on the face of it, for sure. I mean, any parent or any human being would be just fucking repulsed by that. So we talked about it, and he, he spun it a certain way, I would say. Um, and so I pub- it was a great conversation. I published it. He had a lot of great lessons. I published the episode. I got some great feedback from people, actually, about how it caused them to really think about their porn addiction and how they've been rationalizing it, the fact that they need to do something about it, which made me really fucking happy because that's the point of why I'm doing this show <clears throat> is to be able to – sorry, I got a little bit of uh, – my morning voice going on. Hold on one second here. All right. Um, Which is why I do the show, right? Is because to to help people spread their message in order to help other people. So I was really happy with the fact that I got some great feedback on the episode. Until a day or two later, somebody posted a response on Facebook, basically calling me out and calling Josh out for, um, for him not at all being clear about the depravity of his crimes, I guess you could say. And I read the Facebook post and I was like, oh, fuck. You know, immediately my blood ran cold and I went and I did some research and I realized that the crimes were significantly worse, I thought, than he made them sound, like without a doubt. And I was really upset about it, like for a bunch of different reasons. The first one is, you know, I felt lied to or duped. The second one was the whole point of this podcast is to help people. And I felt like my irresponsibility had done people harm. And that was a really tough thing for me to wrap my mind around. Um, And I felt stupid. I felt stupid. Um, So I immediately took all the episodes down and I emailed Josh and I was like, come on, man, like, what the fuck? You know, like, you, I, I feel duped. And he sent me this long response and it doesn't matter what the details are, but <clears throat> as I thought about it, like I, it really affected me and I'm not trying to make this all about me. Um, but I'll explain why I'm telling you that in a minute. Um, but I really, last weekend was a really tough weekend for me. I, I had a hard time sleeping. I was really preoccupied with this whole thing. Um, you know, thinking to myself, like, what am I doing? Uh, maybe I shouldn't even be doing a podcast. I'm, I need, I'm not treating it as seriously as I should be like, or else if I was something like this could never happen and blah, blah, blah. And I really stewed in those feelings because I think that's something that's really important. And then I decided to publish the episode anyways. Now I put a new intro on it to say like, here's, you know, kind of here's what happened. And here's a link to the, you know, the, to some uh, websites or articles on the crimes that Josh committed. So you can read those and you can choose for yourself. But I decided to publish the episode for a couple of reasons. The first one is, despite the crimes the guy committed, he's got a powerful message. And if you look at the the articles um, that were written about him, you know, the judge 
thinks he's no risk to reoffend. And I'm not fucking saying that excuses his crimes, okay? I'm not saying that at all. So if you're going to email me and say that, fuck off, okay? But there seems to be a belief through, like, the judge, the presiding judge, his, you know, that the guy has tried, that he's not a risk to reoffend and that he's trying to actually make a difference with what happened. And I think when you commit crimes like that, what are you supposed to do? Like, yeah, you can never erase what was done, but are you supposed to live the rest of your life? Like, what's the best way to do penance? So yes, he went to jail and as he should have, and probably should have gone to jail for a lot longer, but regardless, he's out of jail now. And now he's trying to make a difference. And I know people will say, oh, yeah, you know, he's just giving him a soapbox and blah, blah, blah. But people's voices need to be heard, even the ones we think we don't want to fucking hear, right? What's the best way to understand someone that found themselves, that made choices, that ended up with them being in that situation where they were committing those kind of crimes? Like, I think the more we understand it and the more we shine a light on it, the more insight and knowledge we'll have, not only into how people like those, like people like that work, but into our own minds and our own souls. Because you can sit there smugly comfortable in your own life thinking that shit could never happen to me. And you know what? Yes, maybe you would never become a, you know, a sex criminal. Okay, I get it. But... I can tell you from personal experience that that comfort that you feel and that certainty and that smugness can be ripped away faster than you can even imagine. Okay, I remember being in, living a life where I thought, how the fuck did this ever happen to me? And why am I doing the things that I'm doing? And so I always feel like, you know, there but by the grace of God go I. Because we're a few things like a few choices or a few events happening to us away from living a very different life, one that we might not even recognize. So the idea of being, you know, smug and high and mighty, I'm sorry, it just doesn't wash with me. So <clears throat> we need to, I think, hear the stories these people have to tell, all people have to tell, because the more we share our stories with one another, the more we understand each other, the more dialogue we can have and the more meaning that's created because meaning is created in conversation. Okay, so <clears throat> that's one of the reasons I decided to publish the episode. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is like messed up today and I'm getting on my soapbox. So I agonized about it and I decided to publish it. And again, with a new intro and links to the crime so people can make their own choice because I actually think and maybe I'm being completely naive. I get it. I, I've thought about it a lot. But I actually think the guy's trying to help people. Okay? And again, it doesn't absolve him of responsibility. Nothing can take that away. God, if I was a parent... I mean, I am a parent. But if I was a parent of one of those kids, I'd want to fucking kill him. Okay? So... And as a dad, I feel the same way. But it's been done. And now he's, I think, trying to move forward. So, regardless... I really have agonized over what to do with this podcast, and I feel like the brave thing to do is to publish it and let people make their own choices. And you might decide that, you know, I'm a bad person and you're never going to listen to the Mental Health Warriors podcast again. That's fine. I get it. That's an occupational hazard when you're doing something like this. But I think what I learned from the experience was this, <clears throat> is that in that feeling of total like discomfort that I felt last weekend, like, you know, again, what have I done? What business do I even have to be doing this podcast? I'm not professional enough, blah, blah, blah. Man, I hated that feeling. And I sat in it and I stood in it and I learned from it. And I learned that if I'm going to continue to do this, I need to up my game. I need to approach this like I do everything else in life with more self-awareness, more self-mastery, and, and always reminding myself that I am doing this to, to be part of living a life that's a service to other people. Okay, so as much as I hated that feeling of discomfort and feeling stupid and feeling like I fucked up, it was a necessary thing to happen to me to force me to grow. And that's the message I think that's really important to take away from this podcast is that those opportunities, we've got to get outside of our comfort zone and risk making mistakes. Because when we do that, we will make mistakes. But those 
challenges and obstacles and the things they force us to confront our limiting beliefs, baggage we have, you know, again, not, not approaching things with the level of a professionalism or mastery that they deserve. They cause us to grow. And man, the growth that happens from those moments is enduring because it's painful and you remember it viscerally. So please get outside your comfort zone, push yourself further, be prepared to fail and learn from the experience and then get up and do it over again. That's when growth happens and that's when growth that lasts happens. Okay, guys, so don't be afraid of making mistakes. Make them, take a knee, get back up. And keep pushing forward because that's what will end up making the world a better place. So anyways, I'd love to hear your feedback on whether you thought this was a great idea or an absolutely fucking terrible idea uh, or not. And uh, yeah, I will keep learning and I hope you are here to keep learning right along with me. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time and thank you for listening.